edition of Everything Home. Today on our show we're going to teach you how to remove a GFCI outlet. A GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupt. These are normally found in areas of your house where there's moisture. Typically bathrooms, laundry rooms, kitchens, garages, and outdoor on patios. They're very simple to change. The first thing you're going to want to remember before we start doing this is to make sure that the power is off to the circuit. So that means turning off the circuit at your main panel on your house. So once you have that done, we'll get started on taking this out. Now that you have the power shut off at the main circuit breaker, we're going to show you a little bit about what's going on behind the wall so you can kind of understand a little more what's going to happen when we're changing the GFCI outlet. Now this outlet box on the left hand side of the screen, that is where the GFCI is and then you can see the wire going across over to the other outlet. Now that GFCI is either feeding this outlet, protected through the GFCI, or it's connected to just the hot lead to where the GFCI is not protecting those circuits, and we'll explain that a little bit more later. And then that outlet there goes up to a light switch, and then those wires are going up through the ceiling to the light. Now let's get started taking out the GFCI, and we'll explain more as we go. Okay, now this is the front side of the wall. You'll see that this is the GFCI outlet here. And then if we pan over, you're going to see the other outlet that it feeds. And then from there, it goes up to a light switch. Okay, first thing that we're going to want to do is remove the cover plate. That's usually held on by two short flathead screws. Once you have the cover plate removed, it's time to take out the two screws that hold the receptacle in place. Once you have those two screws removed, you'll be able to pull the receptacle out of the wall box. And as you can see on this, you've got your hot wires or the black wires connected. On the other side, you have your neutral wires, and then typically on the bottom of these, you're going to find your common ground. Now you can tell on this one by the way the wires are set up, this is usually on the top is your hot power coming in. But since the other wire here is connected down here, the other, the other outlet after this one is going to be protected by this GFCI outlet too. Now, if they were both connected up here, that would mean they're both just hot. This is the only outlet that's protected by the GFCI. And again, because this one's coming out here, this one is actually protecting another circuit through this same GFCI outlet. So let's get started taking these off. First thing you're going to want to do is just disconnect the ground. We're going to disconnect the hot leads. Now you're going to want to keep these separated so you remember that this is the one that is feeding the other circuit. This is the hot coming in. Same thing on the other side. This is the neutral that's feeding the other circuit. So you're going to want to keep that one with this one. And then this is the neutral feeding the hot lead coming into the circuit. So we'll keep those separated like that. Now let's take a look at a brand new circuit. Now here's the new GFCI that we're going to be putting in. Let's take that out of the box. I want you to notice on this that on the back side, typically you're going to find a yellow piece of tape. And it's going to be covering where you connected for a line going out. Typically on these, the top one is for the line or the power coming into it. And if it's feeding another circuit somewhere else in the house, then the line going out to that circuit is going to be connected here. They put this on here to make sure that you don't connect the power coming in to this one because then this outlet is not going to work properly. So you want to make sure that the power coming into it is hooked to the top. Power coming out to go to another outlet is connected to the bottom. Now you don't always connect that to the bottom. You only connect that to the bottom 
if you want that power going to another outlet to be protected by this circuit here. You can actually have the lines coming in and going out, both connected to the top one. What that's going to mean is that only the power to this one here is going to be protected by this circuit and the line going out if it's connected here is not going to be protected by this circuit. So that's why when we took the other one off we wanted to pay particular attention to see how the wires are hooked up to it so that we can reconnect it back the same way and make sure that the other outlet is going to be protected by this circuit too. So let's take this tape off here and expose that hookup down there and then we'll be hooking this back up to where the old one came out of. Okay, the first one we're going to reconnect is going to be the common ground that's on the bottom. On this particular kind, you're just going to slide the wire right in there. Tighten that down right on top. Okay, the next one that we're going to connect up, we're going to do the line out, which is the one that's going to be going to the other circuit. Put that right in here. Tighten that up. next one we're going to hook up was the hot wire coming in to this circuit. Get that nice and tight. Double check this one. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the neutral wires. We're going to hook up the one that feeds the other outlet. Slide that one right in there. Tighten that up. Now we're going to do the neutral for the line in. And that's the other one that's on the top. And tighten that one up. Now some of the older ones will have actually wires already coming out of here to where you're just connecting them with wire nuts. But if that was the case on the one you took out and then the newer one is this type of thing, then you're just going to set this one up the same way as this, you won't be connecting it with wire nuts, you'll actually just be connecting it directly to these terminals. Okay, once you have everything all hooked up, you're going to put that back into the box and then tighten up the screws. Once you have those tightened up, it's time to put back on the cover plate. Then once you have the cover plate on, you can go outside and turn back on the main power coming back into this. You'll flip that circuit on and then right here you have the reset button and the test button. You want to turn push on the reset button and once that stays in then this circuit will be live and it will be protecting the other circuit in the house too. You should be proud of yourself. You just changed your GFCI outlet. We appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time on Everything Home TV.